What's up guys? I'm DK Wrestler and in today's video we're opening up packs of the It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia Series 1 Funko NFTs. So let's get right to it. So for this specific drop we have a total of six redeemables. So the first redeemable we have is the Grail. 999 pieces. It is Conspiracy Charlie and of course this was the first pop that was like kind of shown off because Funko showed it I believe like on the main page or whatever before these were officially confirmed and that's really awesome that is a great way to pull off the grail especially a moment where it's practically become a meme at this point then moving on to the legendaries all limited to 2100 pieces the first one we have here is dennis at tryouts it is really cool that for the most part for these redeemables they're all from different moments i believe instead of what they did with the original wave of it's always sunny in philadelphia pop being like all from the same episode. The other legendary being High School D looks pretty decent with the whole contraption that she has on. And then we have ourselves Liam McPoyle, which I believe was a character that wasn't previously made in that original wave. So this is one of those cases of a brand new character for this set. So that's pretty cool that we got it here. Love the detail of like, he looks like he's just waking up or something because of the way that his eyes are squinted. Then we got ourselves an ultra figure here limited to 5,000 pieces it is mac with duster but then last but not least we have ourselves the royalty limited to 2,500 pieces when of course you get all of the cards that aren't legendaries ultras and the grail being common uncommon rare and epics it is Frank as Ongo. I know that this character is played by Danny DeVito and definitely makes sense that this would either be the royalty or the grail. So it makes sense that it's the royalty because of the fact that this drop is a drop exclusive and for the most part that Freddy Funko, Franny and all of them would not be a part of the royalty in this case, which is a little bit surprising also because Alien was also a drop exclusive and it had a Freddy Funko, but it is what it is. Uh, so it makes sense that we don't have Freddy in this case, but a character like Frank that is, I guess, more easily accessible than the legendaries, that's pretty cool. And for this specific drop, I had purchased a total of three premium packs. Unfortunately, I couldn't buy anything on the secondary market because, of course, these were exclusive to drop themselves. The only way I can purchase them is the drop itself, since drop at the moment won't let me access their marketplace. But hopefully very soon, since I did recently, finally, after so long, apply for my passport. So hopefully they accept that ID and I can start buying and selling from the drop marketplace to do some of these videos. And you know what? I'm actually gonna go in the same order that I did with the last video. I'm actually gonna start with the lowest minted number that we have here for the card packs and then go to the highest one. So the lowest pack that we have here is number 2,509 out of 19,000. I think it's 19,000 for premiums and it was only 17 if I'm not mistaken or 16,500 for the standards if I'm not mistaken. I can't exactly remember, but let's open up this first pack and see if we got any first pack magic. All right, and the first item we have here is a series coin, the It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia series coin. Really nice looking coin, nice and golden. Uh, yeah, so let's start off this with the first card of this pack, and it is a common Frank staring as the troll, which I believe this was the Frank pop from that original set of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia pops. An uncommon high school DD, or not DD, but D. Did I say DD this entire time? Oh, I think people are definitely are gonna comment if that was the case. A common Charlie starring as Dayman. A uncommon Dennis starring as the day man. A common high school D. A common Liam McPoyle. A rare Frank as Ongo. A common Frank starring as the troll. An uncommon Liam McPoyle. A common Frank as Ongo. A rare high school D. All right, Larry, ladies and gentlemen, we did pull a redeemable, and it is the ultra figure of Mac with Duster, and 
This continues our ongoing streak here on the channel of pulling at least one redeemable. Of course, it is an ultra, not a legendary, but still counts as a redeemable, and it still counts as continuing on with the streak. So let's see what else is in this pack. We got a rare Frank starring as the troll, a common Charlie starring as Dayman, a common D starring as the princess, a common Charlie as the director, and the final card behind here is an epic Liam McPoyle. All right, pack number two for this video, number 7,250. All right, waiting for this to load. Okay, I thought it was gonna glitch out for a second. And the first item is a rare Dennis starring as the day man, a common D starring as the princess, an uncommon Frank as Ongo, an uncommon Liam McPoyle, a rare Charlie as the director, an epic Dennis starring as the day man, an uncommon D starring as the princess. Another Ultra Mac with Duster. I mean, I would have liked to see another redeemable that isn't the Ultra, but I guess it's better than nothing realistically. So yeah, let's see what else is left over from this pack. A common Dennis starring as the day man. A common Conspiracy Charlie. An uncommon Max starring as the Nightman. I almost said as the Dayman. I keep reading Dayman, so I'm so used to saying that that it threw me off when it said Nightman. An uncommon D starring as the Princess. A common Charlie starring as Dayman. An epic high school D. A common D starring as the Princess. A common Frank as Go Ongo. Oh, I almost said Go Go. Where you go, go. I don't know. Uh, Frank as Ongo. And the final card behind here is a common D starring as the princess. And now the final pack that we're going to be opening up, number 8,341. Can we get something that isn't an ultra figure in this pack? At least one of those legendaries would be really cool. Or can we please get that grail? Because it's been quite a bit since we pulled a grail here on the channel. All right. First card we have here is not a card. It's once again... The It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia Series 1 coin. Did we just get a Series coin in every single pack we've opened up? I don't know if that's ever been done, at least here on the channel. I'm sure some people have done it. Maybe Harry from What's Poppin' Craze has done that. But I certainly don't remember the last time I've pulled a Series coin from every pack I've opened up. But the first official card starting off is the Common Frank starring as the Troll an uncommon Dennis at tryouts, a uncommon Frank starring as the troll, an uncommon Charlie starring as Dayman, a common Max starring as the Nightman, uncommon Frank starring as the troll, a rare Max starring as the Nightman, a common Mac with Duster, you know, the figure that ends up being the ultra figure that we pulled twice already, Uncommon Charlie starring as the day man. Uncommon Frank starring as the troll. Common Charlie starring as the director. A common high school D. A rare Charlie as the director. A common Charlie starring as day man. A common Charlie starring as day man. A rare Charlie starring as Dayman, and the final card of this very last pack we're opening up is a common 
Charlie starring as Damon. God, that last pack honestly was not entirely the greatest, but don't leave just yet. Like usual, we're gonna check out the redemption tracker and see how close we were of completing that royalty set. So for the redemption tracker, of course, we didn't get any of the grails. Well, there's only one grail, but we didn't get the grail. We didn't get any of the legendaries, and we did pull two of the Mac with Duster Ultra figures, and then we didn't complete the royalty set, but our progress for that is 58%. 33%. Anyways, guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed today's video of me opening up packs of the It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia Series 1 NFTs, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below if you participated in this drop and what your luck was, and hope to see you guys on another video here on the channel, especially we will be doing that eventual Festival of Fun drop probably happening in a couple of weeks. One, two, three, I'm out of here.